When working with lofts, the first thing that we do is create a number of profiles and actually loft between them. Now once the loft has been created, these profiles are actually embedded within the loft feature. Now at some time in the future, we may wish to add another profile in there in order to gain a little bit more accuracy or control over the finished shape of our loft. Previously, we would have had to have deleted the loft, but this may well have caused problems, obviously with any dependent features. But now all we need to do is right click on the approximately the area we wish the profile to be and just select add loft section. What this does in effect is actually creates a plane and actually takes or converts the edges of our loft into an actual sketch. Now I can position this plane around or I can even use one a selected plane if we've already created a reference plane we could use. In our case we're just going to accept this and what's actually happened is you'll notice it's created a new sketch and actually already embedded it within the loft feature. I can go into this particular sketch or we'll just edit it and you can see it's just a normal sketch that I can add dimensions or relations to. In this case, just to quicken it up, I'm just going to delete the sketch entities and just add a center rectangle in there at a greater size. Now by doing this, all we're going to do now is just exit our sketch command and you can see what a change that has actually made to our shape of our loft.